Hi, this is Audi Lynch, and I'm here with Icon Digital USA. I'll be showing you the Icon Qcon Pro as well as the Qcon X series. To see more videos from Icon Digital USA, be sure to check out our YouTube page at www.youtube.com backslash Icon Digital USA. There you'll find tutorials, reviews, as well as news on upcoming products and existing products. When you first power up the Qcon Pro, you'll notice that it calibrates. The second thing you'll notice is you get a chance to select which DAW mode you'll use, and the DAW mode buttons are to the right. So we'll be using Pro Tools, so we'll go to Pro Tools. Now that I have my Qcon Pro fired up, I'm going to start Pro Tools. I'm going to open a session I've been working on and look at some plugins features. My faders go exactly where my channels are in my Pro Tools session. Now another great thing about the Qcon Pro is I can toggle between my mix window and edit window. And since we'll be focusing on plugins, We'll stay in our mix window. To make sure my Qcon Pro is communicating with my Avid Pro Tools session, I'll go to Setup, scroll down to Peripherals, go to my MIDI controllers, and for number one, make sure I'm on the Huey protocol. My Receive and Send should both say Qcon Pro. And if I'm using the Qcon X for number two, Huey protocol, receive and send should both say Qcon X. Once that's complete, you'll see the machine calibrate once again. All right. So the first thing to understand when using plugins is you want to select the track that you'll be putting the plugins on. In this session, I have my alto voice part, my tenor voice part, and soprano. I'll be focusing on just the alto. So I'll select my alto track, which is track one. As I move the fader, it's communicating flawlessly with my Avid Pro Tools session. The second thing I want to do is be able to press the plugin button. Now as you can see, Pro Tools allows me to go through inserts one through four, just like on the screen. One, two, three, four. And to get to my fifth insert, I simply turn my fifth VPOT right here. And you can see, I can now see insert number five. I'm going to add an EQ plugin to insert number one. And I also want to add a reverb plugin to insert number two. Okay. Now, for me to easily get to that on my Qcon Pro, I turn the fifth VPOT once again to change my pages and like magic insert one is VPOT one insert two is VPOT two so I want to focus on my EQ band I press insert one to scroll through my pages for this specific plugin I'll use once again VPOT and as you can see, all of my parameters are listed on my LCD screen. So, 
if I want to affect my mid frequency, my high frequency, and to exit out of it, I press the fifth VPOT. And to switch to my reverb plugin on insert two, I simply press down on the second VPOT. Now the parameters for my reverb is displayed on my LCD. And of course the fifth VPOT will switch the parameters pages. Another great trick with the QCOM Pro is having the ability to compare by pressing the compare button and also bypass if needed. With all of these functions at my fingertips, I can now mix with my ears and now with my eyes. To escape, once again, I press the fifth VPOT. I press my plugin button and now I'm back to seeing my channel names. To see more of our products, please go to our website at www.icondigitalusa.com. To see more videos, go to our YouTube page at www.youtube.com backslash icondigitalusa. Thank you for watching.